is going on everybody? I cannot believe I'm saying this, but welcome to my first Fortnite video. Now, I've seen you guys in the comments below, John, play Fortnite, John, post Fortnite, we want to see Fortnite, and I have actually not posted it because it's an unpopular opinion, I know, but Fortnite is just not my favorite game in the world. So I had an idea for this video, I figured, you know, I'll do my top five reasons why I hate Fortnite, and then tomorrow we can do a top five reasons why I love Fortnite. Now, I don't completely hate the game, I do still play it with friends because everybody's playing it right now. If I had something else to play, I probably would, but there are some reasons why I do like Fortnite. But today, we are doing why I absolutely hate the game, and trust me, there are some reasons. So let's go ahead and get into number five. Now the number five spot is going to the overall randomness of the game. This is something that drives a lot of people nuts, especially me. It's no secret guys that when you get really good loot, you get a rocket launcher, you get that gold scar, you get a really good sniper or something, you have a way better chance to win the game than somebody that just picks up a pistol or like a common shotgun or something. Not that you can't win with those items but you're overall just gonna get crushed nine times out of 10 by somebody that has a gold scar if you have a common assault rifle, you know what I mean? Now take this scenario for instance, you just landed, let's say at Snobby Shores, right? You got a chest and it's got grenades and a common burst. Another guy lands in the same house as you, finds a separate chest and it's got a blue tack shotgun, runs up on you and boom, you're dead, game over instantly. Now that was because the game is so random. Take for instance, you find the tack shotgun and he finds the burst, you know, you're probably gonna come up on him and destroy him. Now that was the difference in the game for you? You're telling me you lost because the chest decided to give him a better weapon. Now that just really drives me nuts about Fortnite. The other random part about the game is obviously the storm location. Take the same example, right? You land at Snobby. A lot of the times you're gonna have to run all the way across the map. Or for example, let's say there's only four people left in the game. You're about to get that victory royale, get out your phone, get your Snapchat ready, because I know you're gonna put it on your story like all my friends did when the game first came out. Another thing that drove me freaking nuts, everybody puts it on their Snap story. But back to the task at hand, there's a circle, right? There's only four people left, and you're like, okay, I can do this. And then all of a sudden, the circle goes right over to where that other guy is building a tower on top of that mountain, and you're screwed, right? Because you have to go, you're gonna either get killed by the storm, are gonna get killed by that guy camping on his tower in the mountain and you can't get over there and that was because the storm decided to land on him imagine it lands on you you're probably gonna win that that is what I can't stand about the randomness in the game now I put this at number five it could honestly be like way higher guys like number two or something but I don't know how you fix this as a game of Fortnite imagine like every gun did equal damage that wouldn't be any fun at all it would just be like a Call of Duty or a Battlefield or something like that. One idea I do have is you could make it so that there's guaranteed to be at least two gold items in every location on the map or at least two purple items on the map on every location. That way people will land anywhere and know that something good is going to be there. It also gets people away from freaking Tilted. You know, maybe they'll go land at Risky if they're guaranteed to get a gold scar and maybe other people will be there too. So I think that's a very good solution. But let's go ahead and get into number four. <laughs> Now number four guys is such an easy fix, it drives me freaking nuts. And that is when you do something so awesome, you get that victory royale, you get dick. You get absolutely nothing for winning the game. Now sure, that feeling you get when you win a game is amazing. You're like, fork yes! I'm gonna put this on my snap story so everybody can snap me back and be like, you're the greatest Fortnite player, man. Every time I play duos, I wanna play with you. Oh my god, you're the best. But I mean, just something. Anything would be great for getting a win in Victory Royale. Like, maybe when you get a win, you go up like half a tier on the Battle Pass if you have it. If you don't have it, that would just be more incentive for people to get the Battle Pass. So that's great for Epic. I mean, why don't you do that? Or maybe you go up a fourth of the battle pass, get like two stars or something. Or maybe after every five victory royales, you get like a free skin or a random skin or every 10 wins. Even if it's like every 20 wins, at least I know I'm working towards something when I'm getting these wins. Like really good players should be rewarded for getting wins, you know? It's not nothing. Just give us something epic, something. <laughs> Now, number three, I think everybody can agree with, you guys have been dicked 
I've been dicked in this freaking game. You know, how many times have you had a pump shotgun and you think you get a headshot or you just absolutely blast somebody that's not looking at you and it goes for nine damage and then the guy turns around and kills you. I've had it happen one time where I had a tack shotgun and I was right behind a guy. Literally shot him three times and did like a total of 27 damage. And the dude is just laying into me. I mean, he's horrible. He literally turns around and just says, Ooh, and I'm just like, okay, yeah, sure. I'll just restart the game, you know, and just loot my way and play around again. Like that just absolutely triggers me. And it's really not just the shotguns. There's other things in the game. Like for some reason, I can't join my friends all of the time. It just literally won't let me join. I have to close out of the application. Um, there's time where my game freezes, I have to quit the application, and it seems like they're doing all these patches, right, which I think is great, they're adding new stuff to the game. It keeps the game fresh, you know what I mean? Like, but each time they do an update, it adds a new bug to the game that just completely destroys it. I just think, like, they didn't have to release the game immediately. You know, they only spent like six months working on the game, and it was mainly because they knew Battle Royale was popular. I just wish Fortnite would have spent like an extra six months, you know, finishing the game, like polishing it off. And it could be literally such an amazing game, but they rather would get it out early so that people are playing it. And that just really gripes me. Like just polish the freaking game. <laughs> now these last two guys are reasons why I don't want to play the game reasons why I've deleted the game for months at a time even and then re-downloaded it you know because there are some things I like but as a person who plays video games all the time lots of games competitively and loves to be great at games and just enjoy games the fact that they have weapon bloom in this game drives me nuts and the fact that they cater to noobs drives me nuts too now I'm not great at Fortnite due to the fact that I don't play it a lot because I don't enjoy it that much but I'm not horrible either, you know? I've been playing games long enough that I know how to be okay at the game, at least. And Weapon Bloom, if you guys don't know, it is on assault rifles. And basically you have your dot that you're aiming at, but your bullets will not always hit the dot. They'll hit in an area around the dot. The common, the common assault rifle is even more random, all the way up to the scar is like less random, so it's better, but it's still random. So if you take two average players that both have an average aim, right? They're not gods and they're not horrible at aiming. You both give them a common assault rifle and they're shooting at each other. It's going to be completely random who wins because it just happens. Did your bullets hit him or did your bullets randomly not hit him because of weapon bloom? And that drives me nuts. It caters to noobs because they can sometimes beat a better player if their bullets are luckier. You know what I mean? It just, it makes me not want to play the game knowing that when I get in a gunfight, it's not always up to skill. Like, what the fuck? And then they're catering to noobs, like putting these horrible things in the game, like jetpacks. Um, the llama used to give you, like, correct me if I'm wrong, but like 500 materials. Now it gives you 200, which, you know, like hurts the good players because they like to build a lot and bad players will just sit there and not build. So it just makes the good players have to loot more, which sucks cock, you know what I mean? That sucks cock, having to sit there and bang three trees with your freaking hammer. Uh, it's now removed, but I don't know if you remember when they had the missile guided rocket launcher where you could literally just guide it and hit somebody. That was the easiest thing to use in the freaking world. Why would they add that? That is horrible. And it just seems like they're trying to do things like the port four is such an easy tool for noobs that can't build. Like, it, they're just catering to them and making it harder for the good players, which, I mean, if you're gonna do that, give us something good for winning a damn game. Give us a skin. Give us something for winning. Now, the number one, guys, is something that is just part of the game that cannot be fixed. This is just how the game works. And it is honestly a big reason why I don't like Fortnite. And your opinion might differ with me because maybe you just play casually or, you know, you like to just hang out with friends. But I don't like to waste my time. And if I land anywhere other than Tilted, let's say I want to land like at the racetrack or something and nobody lands with me, maybe I'm running around and the whole time I don't find anybody or I find like one person and kill him. And then I'm in the final like eight people right 
and then I just get sniped, and I just die immediately, I had no chance, and then the game's over. It's over! Like, you just wasted 20 minutes of your life, you didn't get a win, you didn't, I mean, you leveled up, but it doesn't matter. I don't have the battle pass this time, because I didn't feel like wasting $10 on a game that I don't really care that much about. So, it drives me nuts that I wasted 20 minutes. You're like, okay, whatever, you know, wasted 20 minutes. So you drop Greasy, let's say you're playing duos, and three other teams land with you, right? Um, well, two teams fought, and two of the teams died, so it's just you and another team. You take out one, and your teammate takes out another. So you both have one kill. And then you spend the time looting, you knock down trees, you get wood, you loot all their stuff, you go through all the houses and loot, you move on. I don't even know what's next to Greasy. Let's say, I don't know, Lucky? The circle's on freaking Lucky. Because that's what the game is about, luck. You loot Lucky, you got some good stuff, you've got, I don't know, a golden heavy shotgun, a golden sniper, and a purple scar, right? So you're looking pretty good. Final circle is on Lucky, so you're just there, and there's like six people left, and a guy has a rocket launcher, shoots your base down, kills you. You know, you just spent all that time looting, and getting resources, and wood, and shrooms, and fucking apples, and you got wrecked by a team with a rocket, and you got wrecked by a team with a rocket launcher. You just wasted like 15 minutes of your life, because you know, you don't get hardly anything if you don't come in first. And even when you do come in first, you hardly get anything for spending all that time playing and looting. You know, it just feels like a waste of time. Why am I playing? I'm playing for the sense of accomplishment for coming in first? Fuck that, I want something better. I want skins, I want loot, I want a trophy, I want something. Give me something for playing the game. Don't. It's just a waste of time if you don't come in first. And even then, it's just a sense of winning. That's all you get. I hate playing back to back to back to back games, not getting a win, looting, which is mindless, and just getting nothing for it. You know what I mean? It's just, it feels like a huge waste of time playing. At least when I'm playing COD, like I'm ranking up, I'm prestiging. When I'm playing Overwatch, you know, I'm playing competitively, I'm moving up or down competitively. I don't even have Rainbow Six Siege, but I know you can play competitively and move up, you know, or I can just, I'm wearing a Fallout shirt, I can go play Fallout and rank up my character and I feel awesome because I get to pick out perks and stuff for ranking up. I just, Fortnite feels like a waste of time to me and that is why I do not play it often unless I'm hanging out with friends. And that is why I have not posted any Fortnite up until this point. I haven't streamed any Fortnite. If you guys want me to post more Fortnite, please let me know down in the comments. If enough people want me to, I'll probably do it, maybe I'll stream. You guys can watch me suck on stream or something. But with that, guys, tomorrow, I, I do like some stuff about Fortnite, like I said. You'll see that in the video tomorrow. So please leave a like. Let me know if you feel the same way about this stuff. Let me know if you completely disagree and I'm just being a little bitch. You know, let me know down in the comments below. And with that, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.